everyone assalamu alaikum so before we proceed to the video kindly subscribe and like this video and for today we are gonna make some kebab so basically this is my version of a kebab and i usually make this kebab only when i'm serving over some rice otherwise i do have different versions of kebab so basically for this you need some simple ingredients such as minced meat large onion chili parsley or you can use coriander chili flakes paprika salt and i'm using sumac as well if you do not have sumac in your country you can just keep it as optional and after adding all these ingredients i'm just going to give all the ingredients a good mix and i've really slightly blended the meat using a food processor earlier so i'm just going to mix it all up and it's important that you mix the meat quite well and after mixing it all you just need to make it into some kebab shape so i'm applying some oil into my hands i'm just going to use a skewer and just going to make them into long kebab shapes and i'm not going to make it extra long it's just going to be a medium long size so that it's easier and pretty much easier to eat so i'm just going to make them into long kebab shapes now and i'm just going to insert it through a stick and I'm apl I applied oil before so that it kind of sticks properly and I, it's easier for me to make the shape and it doesn't stick onto my hands. And once you're done with that, make all the, all the kebab mixture into kebabs and then just place it into a fridge for like 10 to 15 minutes and you're good to go and you can fry it up after a while. So for this recipe, I'm not going to use an oven, grill, barbecue or anything. I'm just going to use a pan and then I'm going to fry it because this is just easy to make in a pan. So just add some oil and then place the kebabs on it and then just fry it till they are fully cooked and golden brown. And after that, you can just serve it over the pilaf. And I will be showing my pilaf recipe right after this kebab recipe. So just stay tuned the whole video. As I mentioned for the rice recipe, I'm just going to add some cardamom, bay leaf and cinnamon stick. You can use oil or ghee, whatever you prefer. And then I'm just going to add some sliced onion. I'm using one whole onion for this. And then just saute it till they are golden brown. And then after that, you can add ginger garlic paste. I'm not using any ginger garlic paste for this, but you can if you want to. And then just saute it till they are fully cooked and golden brown. And make sure that they are golden brown so that they release as much flavor as possible. So I'm gonna add in one whole tomato and I diced it into smaller cubes so that they're easier to melt and it's faster to cook. And to that I'm gonna add in all my spices. So I'm adding some cumin powder, coriander powder, turmeric powder, chili powder and garam masala. And just give that all a good mix and I'm gonna add in my salt as well. I'm adding in the salt slightly earlier because we're gonna put in the rice right after this. And add a bit more salt than needed because you need the salt to absorb into the rice as well. So just give that all a good mix and just mix it up for like one to two minutes. To that I'm gonna add three tablespoons of yogurt. I've slightly beaten it so that it's easier to combine. If you wanna add more yogurt or less yogurt, it's actually up to you. It's actually based on the flavor. So if you prefer more yogurt, go ahead. If you prefer lesser yogurt, go ahead. So I'm just adding three tablespoons and I think it's good enough for the whole recipe. So to this I'm gonna add one chicken stock cube. If you're making more rice, just go ahead and add more. And after that, just give it a good mix and combine it till it's totally like melts. And then I'm going to add in my basmati rice. I have soaked it in hot water and salt for like one hour. I just drained it out and now I'm going to add into the mixture. And just add in water as well after this so that it soaks up all the water and then it cooks the rice. So once it soaks up all the water, it's going to look like this. So now I'm just going to dump it over a tawa for like 15 to 10, 20 minutes. So after that, it's going to look like this. It's totally cooked now. So I'm just going to garnish it with some coriander and it's ready to plate. I 
really hope you guys liked my recipe today and if you do please like this video and subscribe to my channel so that i upload more contents and i do really need your support for this thank you and enjoy